Assalamu alaikum and welcome. In today's episode, we will talk about the introduction of static electricity. So let's get started. You might have experienced getting a tiny electric shock whenever you come in contact with any other object or maybe handshaking another person. Why does that happen? You might have experienced tiny effects of lightning during the night when if you are wearing a fabric which is made up of silk. Also, you might have experienced tiny electrical shocks whenever you come in contact with another object or like handshaking another person. Why does that happen? Well, both of these situations are example of static electricity. In today's lesson, you guys are going to understand what is static electricity, how it is produced, what it is made up of. According to the definition, static electricity is the stationary charge developed on an object. Now the question here is, what is charge and how it is developed? Do you know that atom is made up of three fundamental particles, electrons, protons and neutrons? Protons and neutrons are in the nucleus while the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. Now, one of the major causes of static electricity is friction. Whenever there is a friction between two objects, like rubbing a woolen cloth against a plastic object, due to the friction, the heat is transferred to the electrons and those electrons get excited. When those electrons get excited, they break apart. In this situation, what happens, a neutral atom converts itself into now two charged particles. You have a free electron, which is a negatively charged particle, and then you have an atom which is now become a positively charged particle. Why it does become a positively charged particle? Because it loses an electron. So the net charge or the total charge on the atom is now positive. And that's how the charge is developed. So how the charge is measured? Well, the SI unit for measuring the charge is Coulomb, which is named after the famous sign. One Coulomb of charge is exactly equal to one ampere of constant current passing through a point in one second. Now let's try to understand how the charge is developed. As I mentioned before, the friction is the major cause of static electricity. That's why you get those electrical shocks whenever you come in contact with another object or another person. You will experience that mostly if you are wearing woolen clothes. So that's why whenever you take the woolen clothes off or if you are wearing a fabric which has more silk in it, you will also experience tiny specks of lightning or sound also, which is basically the current being discharged. Let me show you with the help of an experiment how the charge is developed. In this experiment, I am rubbing the woolen cloth against the plastic marker. Now, due to the friction, charge will be developed on the body of the marker. Now, when I bring the charge rod close to the piece of paper, you can see that they get attracted. The reason for that is the charge developed on the marker attracts opposite charge in the piece of paper. As a result, they get attracted towards it. Now, one thing you need to remember here is that the pieces of paper were neutral. That's for today. Stay tuned for more videos.